Clea here. At this time, we bid you greetings and thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who are tuning in to this broadcast being brought forward through your internet collective consciousness. Oh, hi guys. I did not see you there. 15 second out here and welcome back to another episode of Cancerous Conspirators. We realize that you can't really debunk a crazy person, otherwise you just become crazy yourself. So instead, we like to make fun of them and see their shortcomings in order to prevent those shortcomings in ourselves, you know? That's basically how I justify making fun of people. And you know what? It's working for now, so that's what we're gonna roll with. The man you saw in the intro goes by the name of Brad Johnson, and he is a fellow YouTuber. And honestly, I don't I don't really know what his shit is about. I've watched like one or two of his videos, and I've gotta say, the dude's a spinner. Out of everything, he's a spinner. That's really the only descriptive term I could come up with. And I'm kind of going into this dude a little fresh. I'm I'm laying this dude open and I'm entering his temple a little fresh. This is going to be a learning experience for the both of us. So I suppose the, the next thing to do is to continue playing the clip I played before. We will speak this moment of your time as it relates to the idea of the law of coherency. Now, this would be, in some degree, similar to the idea of what you would know as the Law of Attraction. Translation, um, I'm a crit- The- I think the face track just tracked fucking Johnson's face. Holy shit, this dude might actually have magical powers. Let me- let me just take that shit off real quick. There we go. Alright. I'm the only face that should be tracking. Okay, so translation for that dude. Um, I'm a crazy person. I'm just gonna say some words and my brain will do the rest of the work and figure out a meaning behind those words. That's what we're gonna roll with. That's, that's the translation for y'all who don't speak fluent asshole, okay? Now the law of attraction is an incomplete law from our perspective. The idea is that attraction represents the nature of a magnetic that is partial to your makeup. Oh yeah, important part of of what's going on. Apparently, he like taps into like some spiritual god or goddess or something. I don't know. But apparently, that's not Brad Johnson talking or speaking. He's just a vessel for whatever spirit he fucking tapped into. I don't... I would explain it a little... Which one's zero? I would explain it a little more. But it doesn't make sense, so it doesn't make sense to explain it. You you feel, you kind of get what I'm going at here. If you don't get what I'm going at, well, then just keep watching and we'll get there. We'll get there together, don't worry. But to understand the nature as it truly relates to your capabilities, to your potential, to the underlining principle of who you are as a being, it is more so just looking at the idea of coherency. When we are... Re okay. Alright, so he's not really saying anything, and if you're trying to follow along, it's not going to make any sense. Now, where this plays, where this starts to play a part, Zero, don't you eat that. Hey, cunt, don't you fucking eat that. Where this comes into play is that when you're a crazy person, You'll look for confirmation bias anywhere. You'll look for anything that'll support your already in-place belief system. So, when you have a dude just kind of mumbling nonsense, it's like a fucking goldmine for crazy people. Because they can pick whatever they need, whatever information they need to reaffirm their belief systems. Like, it's, it doesn't matter what he's saying. Because anyone could interpret it to, interpret it to mean anything. That's that's the beauty behind this asshole. Another thing I would like to point out. Zero, I'm making a video. I'm making a video, poopy. No, I'm making I'm talking about crazy assholes on the internet, Zero. Go where's your bone? Go get your bone. Oh Jesus Christ, there's so much hair. Fuck. 
Have you guys ever have ever had? Have you guys ever seen a fucking husky shed before? It's a ridiculous amount of hair. It's just, it just doesn't make sense. Look at this shit. Zero. Turn around. Turn. Uh, show them your leg. Go on. Turn around. All right. You know what? Fuck you. All right. Try to try to involve you in the work. Try to involve you. And this is the things I get. Yeah, it's pretty good. Another thing I'd like to point out is that do you notice how he speaks like this, where it's really broken up, and there's a lot of pauses in between what he says? Well, I have. I have first count experience with this shit. So I mentioned in one of my other videos that I do speech and debate uh, collegiately. So like I do it competitively and my coach would, whenever I would run drills with my coach, whenever I couldn't really, I would do this event where you kind of had to kind of make a speech on the spot. So you had like a couple seconds, like half a minute to make a long ass speech. And what I would do is whenever I would get stuck in my own mind and I didn't really know what I was talking about and I was trying to buy time to while I was fumbling for more words, I would kind of talk like this and I would break apart my sentences. That way my brain could catch up to my words. So basically, I was just kind of pulling shit out of my ass, and I didn't really know what I was talking about. So, I have anecdotal experience knowing what this asshole is doing. So this guy isn't fucking tapping into fucking some weird spirit realm. No, he's just pulling shit out of his ass. He's just pulling out a bunch of words. That's why he has a bunch of words that don't really relate to each other. Because he, he's just pulling them out, and just kind of like fucking making a sentence on the spot. There's no fucking spirit involved. There's... I I know you're game, Brad Johnson. You're just a crazy asshole, okay? We represent the idea that we are looking at the spectrum of everything that exists within the universal matrix, of everything that represents construct, of everything that represents vibration. Blah, 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 blah. Look at me. I can make word soup. Well, watch, watch. I will. I'll do the same thing. Um, all right. I'm tapping in to Mother Nicki Minaj, um, glorious asshole made of cupcakes, which I heard tastes very sweet. All right. Um, Mother Nicki Minaj. Mother Nicki Minaj has told us that the frequencies of the galaxies is too little and is the sole cause for why the cosmos is drifting apart. Not because of dark matter, but because of the negative frequencies within all of us. Within the very beings, the very souls of our own identity, it's the emotions that is causing these frequencies. That's why whenever you're having bad frequencies with someone you love, you drift apart. Much like how the galaxies are drifting apart at an accelerating rate. See, I just, I just pulled words out, stuck them together, bing bam, shazam, word sentence, that's what he's doing. But whatever, I'm over it, let's go to the next video. This one is titled, Tree Transmissions, Nature Communication. Apparently in this one, he's talking with nature. Oh, I'm sorry, he's speaking with nature. Oh, wait, 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 no, nature is speaking through him, I forgot. I forgot, he's summoning these people. I mean, nature, spirits, whatever the fuck he's summoning. Hello everyone, Brad Johnson here, and this is another episode of Tree Transmissions. And through Tree Transmissions today, we're going to be looking more into nature communication. Pretty good beat, not gonna lie.
frequency. As the nature collective, we speak as one. Not through just the trees, not just through the grass, not just through the obvious, but nature speaks through every fiber of your being, for you are the nature that joins us together in the collective that represents this planet, that represents this world. I'm half tempted to just write down every single word he says, that because if you don't write it down and he's just kind of saying it, he's saying too many words at once for you to really catch up. So you're kind of just left to assume that he knows what he's... Well, if you're crazy, you're left to assume what he's talking about. Every bush, every blade of grass, every tree, every animal, every insect, every drop of water, the sky above your heads, This represents our communication. This represents how we come through to you. You are able to sit in peace, to feel what we can share with you. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm just being a cynical asshole. You know, I mean, the thing about modern day skeptics is that they're not skeptical of their own beliefs in the scientific method and everything scientists and and everything science has produced for us so maybe i'm just being a bad skeptic and i'm just being a skeptic of things that sound stupid to me so you know maybe i should humor him maybe i should try it out myself Maybe I'm just lacking perspective, and I'm the asshole. <sighs> Alright guys. Alright, so, I found some nature, and I guess, if I truly want to be a scientist, I gotta, I gotta test this shit out for myself, so, um... <sighs> Shmekalikamaya. Alright. Now I'm going to go in for the nature communication, so if I don't return, I want you to pull the plug. I don't want to be a vegetable. Kill me, okay? Just fucking kill me, okay? <sighs> make a like a high, make a honey ho. Put my tiny wiener in a blow hole. Whales are serpents of the ocean. Ding a ding a long long. Put your penis in a ping pong. Put the ping pong in a ping pong ball cup and then fuck three horny white sluts. I am the nature collective. I'm here to tell you stop shitting in my rivers and stop putting your plastics inside my vaginas. <coughs> Whoa. Oh shit, dude. This guy might be serious. Oh my god. Wow. I hope you enjoyed that skit because now there's dirt all over my fucking room and now now on top of editing the fucking video now I'm gonna have to vacuum the entire goddamn house because I brought it all the way from one side of the house the fucking dirt clod I brought the dirt clod from one side of the house all the way upstairs to my fucking room and now there's just dirt on fucking everything and it's ridiculous but you get my point right the dude's just some jackass just saying a bunch of random fucking words like like what who who believes this shit am i right who believes this shit oh he has 15,000 subscribers okay well apparently 15,000 people don't think this is bullshit oh but who cares it's just some asshole on the internet saying dumb shit who cares oh um oh 15,000 people care apparently 15,000 people don't think this is bullshit and I don't know if that's a problem or not, but 15,000 people thinking this dude can talk to trees, it seems like something we should nip in the bud right now before it gets to be a bigger fucking problem. Oh, but of course, crazy videos come with crazy comments, am I right? Wow, I've been thinking a lot lately about the last time you came into nature and talked to trees. Can't wait to follow this intuition. Whatever the fuck that means. 
service to others. How does the trees think when cut down to be used for buildings, etc.? I have license for chainsaw and I got bad conscience for having cut down trees now. Or can one see it as a means of helping them evolve from second destiny to third? Once again, whatever the fuck that means, I'd go to a spirituality based enlightenment camp retreat that you did daily transmissions for and lead meditations at. Whatever the fuck that means, I'm harder than the bark on those skimpy tree. Oh wait, shit, that one was me. Oops. Met you, and then perhaps I would be able to receive this more clearly and give you a help with this um, in this moment. Oh, One sure. moment, please. Okay, so read a story. So if you want to just breathe in, push out your energy, feel it as a field expanding, and Treb can connect with your energy. There's more of them. Here, here we go. What? <laughs> There's more than one of these assholes. Yes! Um, in this idea of the many entities that you are able to perceive in your spaceships, as you would call this, this is a very multifaceted concept. What? I wish the to fuck? express to you very first that in your seeing of all these ships, it is not the entities that are designed only for you to see. These ships and these specific frequencies are available for everyone to see. It is the concept that most are not vibrationally um, hiring their own self. What the fuck? Ah! What the fuck is this shit? What? This is the worst shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. What I think is going on is I think he's making these like delusions of grandeur up, you know, like being able to channel nature, uh, speak to alien spirits in different galaxies and shit. I think he's channeling these uh, these grandiose delusions because he's inadequate, you know? I don't know, the dude's middle age. I'm guessing maybe he didn't really do much with his life or something. I don't know. Maybe he's just in a rough spot. I don't know. Um, either way, it's crazy shit, dude. You, you're a fucking lunatic, dude. But I mean... You're crazy, but you seem like a nice guy. I mean, I'd hang out with him. I, I don't know if I'd, um, I don't know if I'd stick around whenever he started spinning or whatever. I'd pro that'd probably be the point where I'm like, all right, all right, bratty boy, I gotta go. Gotta go, my dude. But, you know, whatever, whatever. These are crazy people. In other news, guys, we hit a thousand subscribers. That's pretty dope. Thank you all so much. Um, it... A thousand, a thousand subscribers is is very validating for me. It, it it renews my faith in starting a YouTube channel. You know because ah, it's just a fucking uphill battle. I'm just in I'm in the fucking trenches right now. Uh, it's crazy being a small YouTuber. This shit's crazy, but um, I'll I'll try to just keep improving my content more and more. Um, it really helps if you give me feedback. Um, I listen to everybody, everybody's feedback, even the crazy people that comment on my video whenever I make a video about a crazy person. Every feed, every, every single piece of feedback helps. Um, but yeah, it also helps if you like or share it, you know, give me, give me some other exposure, you know. But, um, I guess... I guess this is, um, goodbye. Oh, and I'm sorry about making all the memes, but you know, like, I spend two weeks editing a fucking video, it gets a thousand views, and then I spend, like, a night making a meme, and it gets 150,000 views, 50,000 views, and 25,000 views. It's like, shit, do I become a meme channel? Do I, is that, is that what, should I just be a meme channel? I don't think I'm just going to be a meme channel. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw people in with my memes and then I'm going to keep them with quality content. So it's like you need a little you need a little icing on the cake where no one wants to eat the cake, you know? That's what the memes are. A little icing for you. Baka baka.